All right, Matt with Matt's Fish Room. This is my sump system for all my frag tanks um, that is chopped together currently at best. Um, when you're looking into, into a sump system, you need somewhere for the water to drain into with a baffle. It'll actually go under this baffle, keep some of the bubbles down. Um, a skimmer typically will be here or here. Um, you can do a refugium, which is just sand and rock and pretty much a separate tank. You can grow um, algaes in there, things like that. Um, and then at the end, you'll have your pump. You'll have your ATO at the same side your pump's on. Um, and uh, the setup's pretty simple. This setup right now is not so, something that I do add to my big systems. Um, I do it to uh, several different ones. I add a full tank refugium. Um, I have water draining into this. This water then drains into here. Um, the downside to that is, is you don't have as much filtration in some of the downspouts as you do in others. So say filter sock there, all the stuff's going from tanks into the filter sock, which you can see now needs to be changed out. Um, but it filters out smaller particles, keeps your water cleaner. This on the other hand doesn't quite do that, but the water being a little bit dirtier is fine because you'll have kind of some natural systems in here to build bacteria. Um, you could put different kind of fish in here, different crustaceans, all kind of little things to keep the water clean in a more natural way. But I like to do one big tank that drains into a smaller tank with baffles. Um, one, because it gives me a whole nother aquarium to play with. And two, because when you have a big system like this, um, multiple tanks, especially when you have a multi-tank system, having this seems to be a good way to balance stuff out. Um, like I said, you can put several different animals in here, crabs, cleanup crew, stuff like that, that you can't actually put in with your corals, but so on and so forth. Anyway, this thing, um, right now I have two or three pumps. They're all plumbed into different things. All the hoses are going different directions. Um, before I left, I didn't get a chance to, but I have my bigger pump that is gonna power, if not the whole system, almost the whole system. So I'll be getting rid of th at least three pumps here. Um, I'm thinking about keeping this small pump, which leads up to this smaller tank over here in the back. Um, that tank really, it grows my rock flowers and it just helps grow pods and other beneficial bacteria. It, and well, my mangroves are in there as well. Um, but I'll come back in a bit. I'm gonna build a very nice um, system here. I went to the Home Depot and I got all these things. And I definitely didn't need all this, but this fish room is not even close to done, and I figured I would at least be using, I, I'm gonna be building a lot more pipe systems. So um, I got all this stuff. I will come back momentarily and show you what I'm gonna build out, and then show you how to attach everything, why I did it the way I did it, and some tips in case you want to do it that way in your aquarium. All right, so this is what I've built. Um, and I will highly recommend anytime you ever build a tank, have shut off valves. Even if you've got, because this has got a digital thing, even if you've got something digital, even if you've got the top of the line and you can control it from your phone, have a manual turn off valve. You will thank me because one day you're going to need it, I promise. Um, in this case, though, the valves to turn them off are gonna be not only for being able to turn the tank off, but to be able to regulate the water coming out um, because since it's a multi-tank system, um, each tank needs its own kind of flow. Um, also, if I just left all these wide open, the tanks in the back wouldn't get hardly anything. So, but anyway, this is my setup that I've done so far. It's just dry fit. I have not uh, glued anything yet, but that will be my water inlet, which will be coming right off of here. First tank second tank, top tanks, last tank, tiny tank. Um, now the tiny tiny one on this thing doesn't have a turnoff valve because the turnoff valve is already underneath. Um, it's already got a turnoff valve. The valve uh, 
is glued to the tank, so I'm just gonna leave it and use that one. Um, like I said, that tank is really just there because it fits in that hole really well. Um, I've got some mangroves in there. I do have rock flowers that breed in it, but I mean, it's definitely not a, a main part of the system. Um, ooh, these things are just dirty. When I went out of town, nobody that came helped to clean anything. They're not cleaners, so I've got to do some maintenance up here. But I definitely am excited to get this plumbing done. Um, these things right here, um, they're just little clamp holders. They are wonderful. Get them. If you're doing something outside like this or you're doing something under your tank, go get a couple of these guys. Make sure your pipe is tight to the wall. Um, you will like it a lot more. Um, anyway, I am going to start unhooking all this stuff and then I'm gonna hook it all back up and um, get everything glued together, of course. And then I will come back and show you how it works and so on and so forth. I'm excited, I've been waiting to do this for a while. All right, it's a little bit darker because this took a lot longer than I thought and I went inside to eat. But, um, so I've got my system up. I, uh, I ended up taking two of them offline, the, the two upper tanks, because the it's a big pump, but it's not big enough to get the water up there, so I gave them their own pump, which is also fine. Um, but yeah, I just ran some PVC. Um, I did get clear glue for this because you just can't see it. It looks a lot better, a little cleaner. Um, some of the other systems I have have the blue glue on them, and it just looks like crap. But um, once both pumps are in the back, I also have a small pump here that feeds one of the tanks on the side over there. But uh, much better. I've got a buddy of mine printing me, 3D printing me some more um, holders for some socks. So all these will have um, socks within the next little bit of time. But um, yeah, so my frag system's officially online. That's the boring sump. I am gonna add a skimmer to this. Um, but right now I don't have but one fish in the whole system. So there's not really a need. Um, and I apologize for the blue light uh, washing the color out, but I've got my frag system up and running. Uh, I got my two, I got, uh, there's two 65 low boys at the top. Um, I'm not sure how many gallons each of these are, but these are all just acrylic. The whole bottom is just small acrylic tanks. Um, and uh, so this system's online. I'm very excited to get everything ready. I'm gonna bring some rock in here over the weekend and go ahead and start getting everything going. I'm sure I'm, I'm gonna have a cycle go through, but that's all right. My next project is gonna be working on this wall here. Very excited about that. Uh, it's three 45 gallon um, low boys. I don't know what I'm putting in it yet, but sure. Um, this whole tank's doing pretty good. Everybody else doing pretty good. Um, out of all my tanks in my fish room, this one is still my favorite. Um, I got this one online, beautiful. It's starting to do a little cycle now. There's nothing in there but a couple snails. My big, uh, long peninsula tank. My beautiful angel and tang. Oh, look who's out. My snowflake, uh, snowflake eel. He's chilling, he's ready to eat. Everybody's hungry. Panther grouper. More, my more aggressive tank. Uh, my shark's out moving. I guess everybody thinks they're getting fed. She's ready to, to eat. Um, I got a really nice Niger trigger from a buddy of mine the other day. Beautiful, it's hard to see with the blue light done because he's a blue fish, but um, really, really nice. Yeah, everybody definitely wants to eat. So I guess I was gonna, I'm gonna get some food ready for these guys and feed everybody. But uh, like my page, subscribe. Y'all have a good night.